This is the tutorial to the Asa Abloy eStore. What I'm going to explain is how you log into the store, search for items, add the items to your cart, and check out. To begin, you'll get an email from the eStore administrator. In that email, you'll have a username and a temporary password. Copy and paste the username and password into the login fields. After pasting the username and password, you will be prompted to create a new password. I highly suggest you write this new password down. Great, now that you've logged in, let's go to the search function. Go to the search tab in the top left corner and type in what you're looking for. In this case, we're going to look up the MyFair keycard. Once the MyFair keycard has been searched for, you'll see a list of items going down the page. In this case, we have six. You will notice that there is a batch quantity on the right side, and that there is a price right above it. From this screen you can add items to your cart. You can also click on the link to get a better description of the item. From this page you can also add to your cart, or edit the batch quantity. Once the item is in your cart, you can click the cart button in the upper right corner. From the cart button you can see the total cost of the items. If you look in the bottom right corner, there is a discounted adjustments number. This number is the 12% discount that is automatically applied to every order on the Asa Abla eStore account. Once you have all the items that you want inside your cart, you can hit the checkout button. From the checkout screen, you can place any kind of purchase order or any kind of notation that you need before you check out. On the left side of the screen, you can find options concerning payment. Options range from invoice to credit card. If you select credit card, the place and order button will be changed to make a payment. Once you click the Make a Payment button, you will be prompted to, to enter all the credit card information. Going further down the screen, you will go to Shipping Options. Make sure that the items are being shipped to the appropriate address. You can also choose from a list of options concerning how you want the items to be shipped. Go to the User Administration tab and find Orders from the drop-down menu. All of your orders will be found in this tab and can be reviewed at any time. This is the end of the Asa Abloy eStore tutorial. We look forward to your business and we will have more tutorials going into the future. Thank you.